Hello, you're watching Hornbill TV's Nordic Express Bulletin. Amid the 78th Independence Day celebration in Assam, Siva Sagar, two bombs have been defused. The defused bombs were both located inside abandoned vehicles, one on the side of Lakhi Nagar Road and the other at Dori Gabar. The bomb at Lakhi Nagar Road was found in an abandoned ambulance, while the other also planted inside a vehicle that had been abandoned. Reports were received that two bombs were planted in Sivasagar district. Earlier, Alpha I faction reportedly claimed that it planted bombs at 19 places, however, failed to explode due to technical error. Assam police with bomb squads and special units have since then undertaken massive search operations. Senior Minister in Anbiran Singh Cabinet, Awang Bonyumai, who ha also holds a portfolio of Water Resources Department on Thursday while speaking to Hornbill TV at the sidelines of Independence Day celebration, said the state government is implementing a lot of programs to control the frequent flood happening in the state. He said the state government is at the moment trying to work out a master plan, plan for flood control in the state. He said the state government is taking the help of concerned experts and by the end of November, the master plan will be ready. While commenting on drainage and water locking problems in Imphal City, Awang Bunyumai said public need to understand the importance of civic sense as most of these problems arise due to encroachment. So you being a senior minister and Manipur, recently Manipur faced a lot of flood related situations, sir. How is the situation in Manipur at the moment and how is there any concrete plan for tackle the frequent flood in Manipur, sir? We have been uh, uh, implement, implementing a lot of programs to control the flood situation in Manipur. We are also trying to uh, bring out with a master plan for flood control. Sir, uh, what kind of master plan it will be, sir? Uh, we are in the process. Uh, by November end, we are taking the help of the experts and uh, by the end of November, I think we'll be able to Sir, uh, about this drainage problem in Impulse, sir, whenever uh, rain happened for, rainfall happened for, even for a 30 minutes, uh, Impulse city is completely See, flooded. Sir, what is the uh, basic problem, sir? Public have to understand this. We need to have a civic sense. Public have, uh, most of the place block the, this thing, uh, drainage. That's many. Le Shio Keshing, the MLA of Manipur's Pungyar Assembly constituency, told Hornbill TV at the sidelines of Independence Day celebration that the reorganization of district jurisdictions and boundaries has become imminent for Naga villages, villagers as it was not done in line with the Memorandum of Understanding they had with the state government. Le Shio Keshing said many of the villages situated at the foothills were carved out and randomly taken under new district jurisdictions. However, many of these Naga villages have very little affinity towards the newly created districts. Now, these villages are encountering a number of grievances, Le Shio Keshing added. He said, these villages are so alienated with the new district headquarters that they are encountering a number of issues while availing government facilities. Naga villages are so alienated that even to receive help from police-related matters, bad fire service have become a hindrance. He said the district administration was also not helpful. Sir, you raised in the floor of the house manipulated district organization, sir. Any comment on this, sir? Uh, I'm very happy that you have come here for asking such very pertinent and very uh, important questions uh, after the assembly. Uh, this district reorganization is very, very important as of now because uh, the district reorganization was done not, not in line with all those mem memorandum of understanding that were uh, uh, sir, in, sir, in your district, what sort of issues you are facing that you have to raise the issues here in the floor of the house? Please elaborate on that. That uh, the villages, many of the villages which is uh, at the foothill, uh, those were carved out, those were randomly taken, randomly taken uh, and uh, merged with the, uh, this newly created district. So the people who are residing in uh, this uh, area, they don't have uh, affinity, uh, uh, that uh, relation with the, those in the uh, Kangkupi. 
So they have uh, numbers of uh, grievances and problems. They face the day to day in uh, this uh, go uh, availing government facilities and other uh, this police, even police, uh, uh, policing and all. Uh, even in the fire, in case of fire and the happenings, they cannot. Uh, the district administration also cannot uh, take up the, the, their duties well. Sir, uh, there are reports about many new uh, villages coming up in hill, and particularly in Kapupi and even, uh, mostly Naga villages complain that many new villages are coming up. Uh, what is the basic problem, sir? Here? That uh, basically for Naga people to establish a new village is very difficult because uh, existing villages normally they don't agree to form a new uh, village. But in other tribes, such things are not uh, there, so they form many uh, uh, new villages as per the reports. So uh, uh, these things are there, that I cannot, that this is subject to uh, confirmation. Manipur Chief Minister and Biren Singh on Thursday said that the government can definitely bring peace and that the state was not just for one community but a home to all the 34 government recognized tribes. Speaking at the 78th Independence Day celebrations at first Manipur Rifles Ground, Singh said the crisis emerged during investigation that revealed the plans of those who silently slipped into Manipur. He said, under the prevailing situation, everyone should leave behind their political agendas to protect and save the land. Singh also accused a section of people who were against development and progress and propelled by self-interest of causing the May 3 violence. Uh, your effort, Pia uh, this last few days you work hard for Tiranga Yatra and all the yatras and uh, celebration sir so how has been this a few days and what are your other plans to this dekho e bharat mahan manipur mahan to bharat ke liye bharat ko strengthen karane ka unite unite karne ka matlab hum sab bharat vasi log ko har ek kisi tarah se bhi involve hona chahiye to we have started we organize in many places in all over the districts, Hargar Tiranga, under the guidance of the Honorable Prime Minister Modi ji. So successfully, since the 13 August, we are, no, no, from the 11th, we are continuously organizing this type of Hargar Tiranga, Ghar Ghar, so even, even, even we are extending our uh, half uh, to the, uh, you know, displaced uh, relief camps, and all the MLAs and the ministers are going there and they are uh, getting meals together. So this kind of things were taking place. Today I am very happy, in spite of having some trouble, many people, uh, in, including the cultural troops and the student bodies, has come up and they have taken part in the march parts. And I really appreciate the people of Manipur. I am to independence day. Jai Peace means this lies on us. There will not be a specific map road because this it is a conflict, not not a mere uh, gari accident. A conflict has so just we are we are taking every kind of effort. You know, just in uh, uh, Jiribam already peace has restored like that. We are trying to do district by district, and we are trying to meet the per in, in person. Today we are focusing on a serious global health issue, the MBOG outbreak, which started in 2022 and has been spreading across the world. Recently, there has been a big increase in cases affecting many countries and leading to urgent discussions among international health organizations. The MBOG virus, previously known as monkeypox, is a disease that spreads from animals to humans with symptoms similar to smallpox. There is no cure, but supportive care can manage symptoms and limited vaccines are available for prevention. The WHO has called an emergency meeting as the Mbox outbreak has spread to 116 countries, classifying it as a grade 3 emergency, the highest level of concern. Since 2022, Mbox has spread across Africa, the Americas and Europe. India reported its first case in Kerala in 2022. Mbox, related to smallpox, was first discovered in monkeys in 1958 
but mainly affects rodents. The virus has two main types, clade 1 in Central and East Africa and clade 2 in West Africa. The first human case was recorded in 1970 in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. In 2022, the name was changed from monkeypox to mpox to reduce stigma. Mpox symptoms include fever, headache, muscle aches, and a rash that usually starts on the face and spreads to other parts of the body. The virus spreads through direct contact with infected animals, bodily fluids, contaminated items, or through respiratory droplets from close contact with infected people. Symptoms usually last between two to four weeks. Most people experience mild symptoms, but some, especially children, pregnant women, and those with weakened immune systems may get very sick. To diagnose Mpox, the WHO recommends testing for the virus's DNA using a method called PCR, especially from samples taken directly from the rash. Blood tests are not recommended because they can't accurately tell the difference between Mpox and other similar viruses. There is no specific treatment for Mpox at this time. The WHO advises supportive care to help with symptoms such as staying hydrated, eating well, resting and practicing good hygiene to prevent spreading the virus. Although there is no mass vaccination campaign, three smallpox vaccines MVA-BNLC-16 and Autoboxvac are approved for Mbox prevention, recommended only for high-risk individuals. The antiviral Tecovirmat was approved for special cases in 2022 but is limited to clinical trials. As the Mbox outbreak continues to spread, global health organizations are working harder to understand, control and eventually stop this virus. The WHO's recent Grade 3 emergency classification is a clear sign of how serious this situation is. We will keep you updated with the latest news on this developing health crisis. Stay tuned and stay informed and stay safe. The Anti-Narcotics Task Force team of Ripoy, Mekalia, on Wednesday arrested a man at Downgate, Nongpo after recovering suspected heroin from his possession. Based on credible information received from ASP Crime, a white Aldo driven by a man identified as Vicky Lengdo was intercepted at a checkpoint. Following search and preliminary tests, heroin weighing 2.47 grams was confirmed. A case has been registered at Longbo Police Station and an investigation is underway to determine the forward and backward links related to the case. Seized items include master packet containing contraband, packed separately, marked as XA1 and B1, sealed envelope marked as XA and B, containing two small sized containers of pink color, used for tobacco, two mobile phones, Poco and Oppo, five unused syringes and one auto 800 registration number ML10C0012 with ignition key. Along with the rest of India, Silchar celebrated the 78th Independence Day with great bomb and show. The Power Minister of Assam, Nandita Garlosa, hoisted the national flag at Silchar's District Sports Association ground on Thursday. Delivering his speech in Bengali, Nandita Garlosa highlighted the developmental tasks undertaken by the BJP-led government in Assam. Annoyo Shahi de Shadda Nibadan, Korchi, Sri Narendra Modi, Netriti Bortoman Ade Desh, Yutu Koti, Propoti Dike, A. Yachi, Manone Pradan Monte, Duradoshi Tintar, Akare, Amade Shokole Rido, Desh Prem Jakroto Pere, Rakti Pigoto Borshe, Moto A. Baro, Palam Kora, or Yokushi. Botonyoi Agas Tiki, Aj Obodi Tola, A. Shakto Biapi, Porjusuchite, Oshankya Manush, Ongsho Grohan Koreche, Ebang Nichni, Gore Tiranga Urge, Shelfi Uti, Harga Tiranga, Dot Kame Aplo Koreche, 
स्वाधीनता दिवस समानर भाव माननीय मुख्यमंत्री डर हिमान विश्व शर्मा नेतृत्व अमृत वृक्ष आंदोलन कार्यसूची रूपायण गत बस एक कोटी वृक्ष रूपान्तर गिनीस वर्ल्ड रेकर्ड कर पर माननीय प्रधानमंत्री आहवान कर्मे माननीय मुख्यमंत्री दिग्दर्शने राज्य सरकार लक्ष्य नहीं मायर नाम एक वृक्ष रूपायण कर मोट तीन कोटी वृक्ष रूपान जन्म यह कार्यसूची सफल कर अपनारे तुलबें बोले आशादी दुई हजार एक दस दस मे दिन माननीय मुख्यमंत्री डर हिमंत विश्व शर्मा महाशय नेतृत्व गठन कर सरकार दिन तीन बचर सम्पूर्ण होगत तीन बचर राज्य प्रगति एवं विकास तरान कर लक्ष्य यह सरकार उन्नयनमूलक कजार अग्रसर होगत बचर गल राज्य स्वास्थ्य क्षेत्र के आगे नहीं उल्लेख्य अग्रगति लाभ कर गौरव कथा राज्य तीनचुकिया चिकित्सा महाविद्यालय सह तेर टी सरकार चिकित्सा महाविद्यालय स्थापन कर भारत माननीय प्रधानमंत्री दुई हजार चौबीस साल चार फेब्रुआर करीमगंज चिकित्सा महाविद्यालय एवं नय मार्च शिवसागर महाविद्यालय आधारशिल स्थापन करसाम सरकार जनजन स्वास्थ्य सेवा विचार एक क्षेत्र कैक गुरुतपूर्ण पदक्षेप ग्रहण कर आठशो एक तृत्य श्रेणी एवं चतुर्थ श्रेणी पदे अति सत्यतार निजुक्ति प्रदान कर